All right, this is uh, probably the Intendor show of today. That's one of my posters, by the way. I think uh, in keeping with my... Uh, uh, that's Joff Wilson with his guitar. That's my brother with his sculptural chairs. And he made some, he made a lot of thrones. A lot of that was copied by one of his students at uh, SVA. I, I saw him as a result of uh, the fact that my good friend who designed the Transcendent Flag, George Hayward, uh, had lent a thousand dollars to the girl that had gone to SVA when Pat was there and was apparently making a name for herself copying his uh, designs and techniques. In uh, keeping with my uh, 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 processes, which are typically quick, dirty, fast, and simple, something that produced this wonderful Intendor number four, a long uh, bass string uh, percussion instrument with two iterations. This has been the second iteration of that. And this, which I was going to play, it's really just basically a double bass, a double, electric double bass. I'm playing these through a, a NAD and a old Pioneer Reverb that hadn't been doing too well as far as I'm concerned with this setup. I've done, and then there's the uh, four track uh, realistic old analog uh, mixer. I was able to pick up a piano for uh, 75 bucks at uh, the Music Loft, who I'm trying to do some good work for. They've been really nice to me. Dylan and uh, Dave and the owners, Jim, for the Music Loft. There's a GL contest for guitar building, but I have strong doubt that they really interested in anything much they give me anything for anything like I've done. I uh, soldered together this uh, equipment here last night. This is the uh, uh, pin peg pickups. Uh, uh, that's a piece of uh, PZO tape right there. And right here is... Uh, Somewhere laying around here. Oh yeah, there's the uh, there's the uh, PZO cable right there, right there. And I took it off an old Intendor over there. And uh, this is uh, I'm trying for the first time any something a little more complex. And then I just hooked up a, a salvaged uh, volume and tone control, and I hooked that in line. I we soldered all this together with a, a heavy ground and this is the design I'm working on I decided to go ahead and go with this neck design or end uh, uh, winder uh, section and I'll uh, splice that on back so the strings come down in a slot and be closer to the neck this machine here works as a from her. And uh, here is one of the design, uh, design shapes I'm working on. In the way I'm working on it, I like to use wood. I'm going to go ahead and go with that neck. This is what I'm talking about. It's about four and a half, four and a half. And I got some uh, collection of odd winders to uh, uh, use for that. None of them quite the same. This isn't truly as elegant, but I don't have a jigsaw. And uh, makes a little bit of a difference. And the daggone uh, uh, zip it, uh, zip uh, uh, zip tool that I got. Boy, I tell you, that thing uh, is almost like setting fire to wood of any any size. It really was made for altering sheetrock fast. That's a great tool. Journal makes some great stuff, but I could really use kind of like a 
jigsaw, bandsaw, all that fine equipment that you use to, you know, professional factory to make these things. So I'm kind of nice with my things though. There's nothing like this one. Nothing at all. The original had the original had a longer neck too. <laughs> I made that uh, uh, kit amp over here. It draws very little, and it's a six-inch speaker, and it's really a dirty sound. I haven't been able to get any fidelity out of it. It's, uh, it cost me thirty dollars, twenty-nine dollars for the kit, and it's worth thirty dollars. <laughs> But uh, here we go. This is what I'm getting ready to start on, and these are these are photographs that I get to talk about as they roll by. Here's the uh, pages for the novel. That's where I am in the rewrite. I've been stuck there for about two weeks at least. Sad for me and sad for you. But you can listen to it. You can buy the audio book. I ought to do the book of poems as an audio book, really. I think for audio stuff, audio books, a book of poems is the best thing, really, from my point of view. That's a highway incident. That's a trip to Maine I took. A guy's name was Kenny, I believe. He was a train engineer. That's what it was like in Orange County Social Club. And uh, this is my mother's funeral at Holy Trinity Church in August of, I guess now, all nearly two years ago. Seems like. I guess it'll be two years this year. This is a painting I did uh, of her and her friends. From a, that's uh, a piece of art of work, art, work of art I did called Work. And those things, I got them going by in order these days. We've been rearranging the room. I changed the outlets back there. So I, I, all the electrical work is I made uh, has been. Uh, we had two, two, uh, two of them just burn up for no reason over there. So I changed. We've had four outlets in this room. This is an addition. I think about electricity. We should all think about electricity. North Carolina could get all the electricity needed out of the ocean between the Gulf Stream. I'm now, I was always thinking of tides moving in and out, but Jason Rosen of the IATSE uh, business uh, agent uh, talked to me about the uh, Gulf Stream not far out and it being a constant. I don't know whether that's, uh, I, all of it, all of it, if you want to win, you get your engineers to do the job. And right now, I'm, I guess I'm engineering a, a, a machine for Outdoor Cats, my band. The Outdoor Cats. I hope we can get a decent shot of me. I, I don't, often don't like the way I look. Happy days. And uh, Let's try not to be so mean to each other. The meanness, the meanness is just... Enough on it. Turn on a TV. It's just mean, stupid or mean. And uh, the trend on Facebook is basically mean. <laughs> Everybody's mean. They feel mean and threatened and fearful. We gotta do something about that. <laughs>